नमस्ते भैया नमस्ते एवरीवन सो वी हैव टेकन दिस असाइनमेंट यस्टरडे सो वी बिगैन विथ लुकिंग इन टू द हैप्पीनेस फॉर अमन बींग इज इट इन एट नेचर ऑफ अमन बींग और इज इट सम एक्सटर्नल इन्फ्लुएंस and with some exploration we try to see how happiness is innate nature and not an external influence if i aspire for happiness in continuity because whenever i go for some external influence for the sake of happiness it is neither continuous nor definite there is a competition point the dependence outside and so many things are there i remain slave and we look for happiness outside primarily through two sources one is some favorable sensation from the body and the other is favorable feeling from others and in that process we also discuss the meaning of happiness the meaning of prosperity and we had taken an elaborate assignment yesterday for prosperity basically the day before yesterday and i think it is something to continue we need to look into those aspects of prosperity properly if we do that assignment consistently for us and try to make a record for that it will help us really in the long run it may save a lot of time and energy for us and also articulate our plans and programs properly so even though we discussed that assignment only yesterday but you can continue doing that assignment make a proper you know record of all the things do it properly and plan things properly that will help you spare so much of time and energy for right understanding and right feeling now the content that we started discussing yesterday was that one needs to ensure all the three right understanding relationship and physical facility with the correct priority to ensure a happy and prosperous life in continuity so now we can see that unless i am clear about the meaning of prosperity i somewhat get engrossed with the few chemical things my programs my plans my strategies are not able to free me for working for right understanding right feeling so i am not able to assign the right priority to right understanding also but with some exploration we can very much see that the need for physical facility is limited so arranging for physical facility is a very small part of my entire program of life it cannot be the complete program most of the issues that we are facing in our day to day life or overall in our life in our society is going to the lack of relationship and not due to lack of physical facilities and be it relationship or the issue of physical facility they are going to be resolved only through right understanding so right understanding is at the core of a human life yeah. so we need to put them in right order right priority in our life so assignment that we took yesterday was whether we have been able to look at all the three uh, with the correct priority and whether we are able to invest time and effort for right understanding and right feeling so during the entire day today how much time and effort did you spend for right understanding for relationship and physical facility what have you given first priority to second priority to and third priority to find it out in your life so in our day to day life also we can see the good thing would be that uh, many of us are spending at least 1 hour many of us are even spending 2 hours in the early morning working for right understanding they are trying to listen to the proposal many of us are also spending time on other occasions in the day observing oneself participating in the larger order for ensuring right understanding the people so in 24 hours of a day on an average we can make a program a definite program that at least this much time is going to be spent for right understanding right feeling and we'll see that directly or indirectly it will save a lot of time for you presently it so happens no that when we try to derive happiness from outside through sensation or through 
favorable feeling from others. If there is no definite completion point, we get bored after some time, we get fed up after some time, and then what to do next? So we try to spend some time coming out of that state of boredom, anxiety, or whatever discomfort that we have inside. And a lot of time gets wasted away. In fact, if you sleep for eight hours in a day and you are awake for 16 hours, and if you try to see, can I write you to like these 16 hours? It's a big challenge. Unless you work for right understanding die feeling, you are not able to write it lies the 16 hours because whatever you will do would be committed towards getting something from outside in the form of sensation or some favorable feeling from others and then you will try to derive happiness out of it and it is not sustainable. So you get fed up, you get bored, you get uh, depressed, you get uncomfortable and then you try to ease out, you try to escape from unhappiness and a lot of time gets spent in a day escaping from unhappiness. A similar thing may happen in the entire life. It may be the case that we spend a lot of time in our life escaping from unhappiness. All the merrymaking or things like that we are doing or intoxication and problems arising about this intoxication that we are uh, uh, facing could be because we are not working for right understanding right feeling. We'll also see that in our life, we might have taken so many decisions due to absence of right understanding on those occasions. And we have to continue with those decisions in our life. Once we decided something, now I'm caught up. I'm caught up in a loop. I can see that I'm in trouble. I can see that I'm uncomfortable. I'm, see that I'm able to see that uh, there's something not desirable. But once I have decided for it and I have committed, it had become a kind of liability for me and I'm just continuing with that. So we, it may be the case that due to absence of right understanding, we took many decisions in our life and we are caught up and we have to spend a lot of time in our life you know, somewhat trying to get away from those issues and we are not able to do that also. Maybe the whole life sometimes gets wasted away. if we enter into some situation due to absence of right understanding in those situations. So one thing would be like observe yourself in a day how much time you are spending for right understanding, right feeling. The second thing would be sit quietly with yourself. Observe the whole span of life, the life that you have spent so far. How much of it could not be spent meaningfully because you took certain decisions uh, with lack of right understanding. And now what to do next for the rest of life? Can we now place right understanding at the first priority and then decide properly? Isn't it? And we can see that the right utilization of this life is to develop the self, something that we have been discussing, we'll discuss more is to develop the self, the awakening of higher level activities. So am I able to spend time working for awakening of higher level activities? We can have a closer look at that. We can have a closer look at our entire life that we have spent so far and the life that we are going to spend in time to come and see how this correct priority would help us feel resolved. So overall, it is quite doable. Overall, it is quite doable. You know, many times we are too busy with things, but we are seldom able to see why I am busy. Like we can see that when we extract oil from the oil seeds, then the old tradition has been that two bullocks would be uh, given this task and they would just be moving in circles. For hours together, the bullocks may have a feeling that we have been moving a long distance and you know, we have been working for hours together. But the point is they are, they are not moving ahead, they are just moving in the same place. In a similar way, in a similar way, if we do not have right understanding, we may be working a lot 
we will be toiling hard in our life isn't it but the main point gets somewhat out of focus so look at it very good morning bhaiya good morning didi how are you yeah fine fine bhaiya yesterday everything went on well uh, from yeah. that words only i was observing how much time i was spent for right understanding relationship and physical facility like that now we, when you started talking i was observing what and all happened from the morning yesterday like um, especially for yesterday i am giving more importance uh, for right understanding and a relationship and also i am feeling now like it is depending on the day uh, as far as my yesterday is concerned more on relationship more on right understanding very less to the physical facility Uh, how i could say or justify this is and also you are telling us to what i had given first priority yesterday it seems like a relationship since it was the end of our uh, uh, like uh, uhc3 like uh, everybody is departing to like uh, leaving to their native place so i feel like so though we will meet in our next meet and all that will be a connect i am making sure that we should not uh, leave whoever we met this time we should continue as the same during some uh, uh, like uh, uh, volunteering activities and also uh, like online meetings yeah comparatively uh, like uh, previous day like i am comparing the previous days i will connect but i am planning like since we wanted to continue in the right way we should connect more than the previous days before it was with three after it was with three so that way right understanding also playing major role and also the feeling of relationship i it was improved so when i returned back home to through the train i met our resource person sunil maya and to uh, sarangi maya maya and one more uh, madam also latha ma'am by the time like accidentally i met them in a railway station so somehow i told them we can stand that so we will get these in the train like that some conversations it was very very good because i didn't expect this type of travel first time i travel with the fellows uh, from our university i felt very very happy i have spent to one uh, discussed very less but the feeling of relationship we are traveling with them that made me very very happy then uh, after returning home to bosses tomorrow is my birthday so when i went to we so we are living for this one week for some uh, nearby place that is um, in my in laws place so uh, i am planning to buy one dress so we went i couldn't even spend much time there i used to spend more time and also we will buy three dress four dress like that but yesterday i bought only one that is enough that too i have spent very less time comparatively like pre- compared with the previous days so like i could able to see that uh, if i am evaluating yesterday i am feeling very very happy that i gave more importance to that the relationship than to the right understanding and very less to the physical the compared to my previous days okay yeah nice nice didi first of all congratulations to the entire team for having such a successful eight day hc3 workshop yes. i was also there at the workshop and it was going very well and i could see the reflections yesterday on the group okay so okay so certainly those who were participating in the workshop spent their time very well working for right understanding right Feeling. Now we have to see, like now in the day, we have to spend time uh, yes. every day you know, yeah. to be consistent, to be persevering for right understanding, and that is quite required. Yes, yeah. yes. Very nice, Didi. Um, Good morning. My observation is today, a uh, uh, couple of days, I stay outside my family uh, for a couple of days. I travel around. Uh, since i'm i'm traveling uh, i have i got the sensation of what should i eat for dinner when i was starting the day itself around 7 o'clock when i was traveling from one place to the other 
uh, i got the sensation i could understand uh, that the sensation of what food i am going to have is not going to help me uh, uh, help in physical facility but still uh, there is a sensation of what food i should have in the evening now uh, this was one of the question that i want to know although i have a right understanding of uh, that the food is not going to help me nurture my body but still uh, i i do not know what should be my next step of my understanding that i should suppress it saying no or what should i do with that kind of a feeling so yeah this is the first question i have and the second uh, observation i had is they was uh, i had to catch my back uh, bus back home where i have to uh, spend couple of hours uh, uh, on the road waiting for local bus in the past with, without my observation or without harmony i would have been disturbed because i was standing on road for the local bus for 2 hours now with harmony i did not get uh, with with the right understanding i was able to spend 2 hours standing on uh, waiting for the bus without getting disturbed with that uh, kind of an uh, environment with with the right understanding and harmony i could look for alternatives uh, after spending two to one hours on the road uh, I, i could look for alternatives and uh, the bus i i went into i got into a wrong bus uh, but i did not feel that uh, uh, agony against it or against myself i was i used in the past without this uh, uh, uh uhv i would have reacted on myself i would have been aggressive on myself saying how could i make a mistake how did i can get into the bus wrong bus something some feeling would have been hurting me but yesterday i was in harmony and i could find alternative so uh, two observation i have i want to share one is on harmony that helped me to find uh, the right uh, uh, path to to the next step and the first thing how do i handle with sensations that i have uh, with regards to a food or some some kind of a sensation how do i handle it thank you bhaiya yes bhaiya so presently also you are traveling or you have arrived yes i am i'm just traveling on the way traveling okay yes so this is a pertinent question i also often get this kind of question when i'm traveling so one thing is that we know that traveling may take time so can we have some food which can be preserved without a refrigerator or something and we can keep it with us during travel uh-huh. so this could be a part of our plan while we are traveling because the food outside may be infected uh, may cause some problem in the stomach and if we go without food it may also cause problems like hyperacidity or certain things you know which may cause some irritation so first of all i will not be disturbed by the sensation from the body with a feeling of self regulation i will make the right choice and i okay. can know beforehand that while i am traveling i will not have uh, as i regularly have at home or in the college so i have to take something which can be carried along so i will tell you one thing which i generally do <laughs> so because in the north we consume curd with uh, uh, poha you know poha yes bhaiya yeah so i generally keep poha with me and jaggery with me and i can get curd when at the railway station so that i keep it myself and if you twice this thing or even once and then supplement it with something which is healthy that will also help so you can continue with that this is also good for you but the point is that when i am traveling i need to uh, first of all plan for food which is healthy for the body and uh, this i can manage it i do not have to store it separately if you keep some cooked food with yourself then it will get spoiled spoiled after 12 hours so in uh, replacement to that you can keep something which can be easily preserved while traveling i hope you could get my words yes bhaiya so this is this is something that you have to plan somebody told me that he often has to travel so what he does he carries two bags with him 
in one bag he has a pressure cooker and some utensils which he keeps ready for himself and in another bag he has his clothes and other things so wherever he goes he cooks by himself if you look at the old tradition people used to travel for days together you know in bihar there is one common tradition of eating sattu sattu means there are seven grains as the word may indicate in, indicate but it could like roasted gram is generally used and is ground for the roasted gram is ground and it is made as sattu and you can keep it for days together only that don't over consume it but it is also something easily preservable and usable in the journey so there have been such ideas traditionally because earlier we did not have refrigerators we did not have so uh, many ways to purchase things uh, while traveling so people used to keep such things and travel for days together it was a common tradition bhai yeah, my kuch other question is uh, what should i do with this sensation should i uh, suppress them or should i ignore them or should i accept them what even if i'm accepting you know, i thought yes. it's the same sensation for food so no need to suppress yes. yeah mm-hmm. so presently you can look for something healthy that you can eat like there are so many packaged items which you can depend okay. upon yeah go for packaged items that would be better it's my suggestion but it's not something universal so mm-hmm. you can just mm-hmm. to me also when i take something okay. which has been cooked and served it uh, somewhat disturbs my stomach so i generally go for packaged things you can look for packaged healthy okay. things thank you vaya yes yeah minal is saying chura dahi and sattu is our instant food this is something that i also prefer <laughs> okay uh, namaste bhaiya <laughs> namaste to all uh, just uh, sharing bhaiya ji as you were saying that the whole life sometime we spend like that without knowing and then so for last uh, 3 years or 4 years 2020 i attended online workshop before that also i attended 2012 but then i could not continue and these morning sessions i have been attending uh, since april 2021 i am finding that these are three four years i have come to know that okay uh, means what the means meaning of the life and what is the worth of it means earlier we were just living by preconditionings and whatever i don't know how were we living so just uh, i wanted to share that now means now it's getting the the meaning the real meaning and purpose of the life and i want to just share this also that as um, in the morning sessions also we all keep on sharing that this just this is the information which we have been shared in the morning and all until you apply it uh, you will not get the results so i just want to share that okay uh, it seems that uh, uh, it is not possible but when you apply it and you get the results uh, if you if you work on your feelings other may not be showing the right feeling because i am uh, my responsibility in my college is sir um, uh, director students welfare so you can understand um, all the students and the parents when sometimes the system take actions uh and uh, system has to take action the limitations are there and uh, the students also and the parents also come with lot of opposition and because of this self exploration and right feelings when we keep our feelings which are naturally acceptable and i can see their disturbance now means most of the time they are very disturbed and then they use the words which they means normally they may not be using even yesterday i can uh I mean quote many examples of that because daily i am facing this and uh, and i have seen that okay when they are disturbed they have said some words and then after that once they get cooled down or i don't uh, means i means with the right feeling when i am dealing with them understanding them trying to communicate and then at the end of the uh, conversation or at the end of the means uh, that Um, whatever time then they come and they feel sorry also sir 
this is about common observation and then also i make them feel that okay this is how means i understood your pain at that time and i have not taken it in that way uh, so and this is just one example bhai i am sharing and then even uh, i can see means the relationship like one of my foreign students right now is critically sick in the hospital and uh, i mean means i know now what the role i have to play means i can see the relation from self to self so so many examples are there but then uh, i will just say that okay and, and then this is the I mean now the life has got the meaning uh, as you say that so much time we have just i will not say wasted yes <laughs> it was like that when we didn't know we were living like that now this by knowing and all we are living a more meaningful life and that calmness and all it's very nice bhaiya just wanted to say share this thank you thank you bhaiya nice day. i'll just share one example at our center at kanpur one boy came once and he was quite disturbed and he said that i want to stay here and study he said that's a good thing but what is the purpose of your study why do you want to study then he said that uh, he has a maternal uncle and he wants to take revenge from him so he wants to be such a high position person in the society so that he can take revenge from him we wondered how come this motivation is there in this boy so he asked what happened so he told us that sometime back his father died and then his mother asked him to go to his maternal uncle and seek some financial help but his uncle did not help him rather he kept him standing on the gate and abused him and uh, disrespected him and then asked him to leave and he got so revengeful for his uncle that he made up his mind on that very day that i will take revenge on this person and show him disrespect him the same way he did it he did to me so he said that see one thing that you want to study is good but the purpose with which you have come here is good now let's say that you study hard but you are not able to be as successful as this person then what will you do your whole life is gone the second possibility is that you you know are able to get to a successful position in society high place position in society and the moment you go to show off to this person your uncle is no more he has died again your whole life is going to be set up and there is a third possibility is that you study hard you get on to that position go to show to your uncle and you disrespect him also you lead him the way he did to the same thing we observe by his child okay and then this chain reaction will start he will take an oath on that very day that now he will take revenge from you and i can just see that a small incident in his life but the way he has associated meaning to that incident he may be toiling hard the whole life but his whole life is going to be wasted away he is always going to be in unrest he is not going to be comfortable with himself always lack of peace anxiety turmoil is going to be the state of his imagination and he may waste the whole life doing like this that's why it is very important that we look at the correct priority in our life also <coughs> when we ask somebody to come to a workshop Say that how much time it will take. We say one week. They say that oh, I can't spend one week in a year. It's too dear to me because I'm so busy. Now, if you see, we are not able to spend even one week in a year. Now there are to be two weeks in a year. One by fifty-two. That much time also we don't need to spend to run this study. So, uh, then how do I assign the priority to it? And if I spend one week in a year working for it, understanding totally, purely, then it will also help me write it like the next fifty-one weeks to follow. So this kind of calculation we are not doing. I was also calculating uh, when we were having this workshop at the Sare that 
like the colleges which are spending money on organizing self funded workshops are also getting benefited financially they, maybe they are not able to make the calculation but if you see if the college is organizing an ftp and spending some amount of money we are meeting spending some amount of money right but the amount of time energy and money that gets saved because people start working harmoniously they might not be calculating i have generally found that people who are into uhg programs are good at multitasking they take so many responsibilities at a time okay so they save their manpower the colleges are able to save their manpower they are able to get quality work from the people so if you look at the point of view of physical facility also if we start spending time for right understanding and right feeling at an individual level at the institutional level we are able to cut down our uh, this list of physical facilities that we are looking for and not call it as a need maybe these are we can say so we can cut down that requirement for physical facility and also able to help uh, others relate to us better with a feeling of relationship and the purpose is also served purpose of life is also served so whether it is at the individual level or at the institutional level we are of course benefiting in all terms we are happier we feel more prosperous we are healthier we have better relationships and the requirement of physical facility is also coming down so if a family plans to spend time attending a workshop at least once in a year then they are able to better utilize the rest of the time in the year they are able to better utilize the physical facilities they are more prosperous they have better feeling of prosperity within they have better relationships they have a happier life and the same thing applies to the institution also so i do feel that the institutions and the universities need to come forward to spend time money and energy for organizing such valuable workshops and in the long run it is going to be of much much help in on all counts in all directions nice bhaiya i wanted to say something connected to what you just now said so our institution also uh, has uh, um, gone for this self and now we'll do it 15 in 17 so uh, all the all the people in the institute in faculty staff uh, officers everybody has been registered director wants everybody to do so yesterday when i was having my food uh, one uh, finance officer said he is my age he must be 51 52 or he's lesser younger one or two years than me he said madam in this age what do you think i can get but because by this time people have built houses they have you know, saved money so i said you will you, that's the biggest thing that you're going to find that there is there's something much more precious and important that what we have accumulated all these years so he was laughing So I just remembered this when you said that institutions will. It's a very nice question he raised yesterday. <laughs> yeah. So at every age we can gain, of course. Ji. Yeah. But there is generally complacency in a way. It. हम तो सब सेट हो गए हमारा घर बन गया बच्चे बड़े हो गए अभी क्या है तो दुखी हुए कि नहीं भैया सुखी हुए कि नहीं am ah, i feeling they, happy or not yes, and that yes. is in continuity yeah, absolutely this is the biggest question yeah the place where i am sitting there is a cool breeze here so if some sound is there of the breeze please let me know i just got a message i moved to some other place but if there is some disturbance in my voice then please let me know ji so we are looking at this so essentially as a human being i need to transform myself i need to move from this smaller domain of physical facility all the time thinking in terms of getting respect through physical facility getting sensual pleasure through physical facility thinking in terms of accumulating more than my friend my neighbor you know indulging in various ways as compared to others always comparing in terms of physical facility that is a very kind of you know 
small domain small uh, or like constricted way of looking at life very constricted way isn't it and we are not happy we are just living like animals all the time thinking about physical facilities trying to indulge trying to compare you'll just see that you feel liberated when we are able to have all the things included in our life so moving from this smaller domain of physical facility to the uh, complete domain that is right understanding right feeling and physical facility is what development is as a human being and we can all see that when we are able to work for all the three we feel so much developed so much transformed so much liberated isn't it we were troubled by small issues in our life you know we well we used to get influenced by small uh, observations uh, pertaining to either physical facility or some disrespect by others and that disturbed us so much but the moment we are able to work for right understanding right feeling you know we are no longer disturbed like that we are no longer enslaved like that so this is transformation now we are moving towards human consciousness and this is the basic role of education sanskar one important question that occurs to me is that whether our educational institutions are transforming our children from animal consciousness to human consciousness or so to say they are transforming them for human consciousness or they are making more and more indulged in animal consciousness this is a very pertinent question if you i was raising this question yesterday also if you look at the elite schools they have become a center of consumerism they have become a center of indulgence parents are spending so much of time uh, earning and you know, money for the children and then spending a lot of money on the children and the children are also now into that particular thing only so we also have to see that education is not meant for making our children more and more indulged in animal consciousness but rather they have to transform so the role of question the role of education sanskar is certainly to be questioned whether we are able to enable this transformation in our children or not so with right understanding and right feeling we are able to ensure mutual happiness and with right understanding and physical facility we are able to ensure mutual prosperity so we feel prosperous within and we are also able to enrich the rest of nature ji so the parents may have a feeling that we are spending so much on our children but maybe that the children are getting more and more conditioned they feel that they need a lot of physical facility to survive and this kind of mindset is prevalent now in the institutions earlier if you see when we went to schools no where acs were to be found okay ac was never even uh, a <laughs> kind of uh, facility to be asked for in schools nowadays schools have to provide air condition rooms and the children feel restless the parents will be complaining that your ac was not working properly in the classroom yesterday and the college or the school has to manage so now the way they have constructed the buildings is also questionable the way we are living in our houses is also questionable why every time all the time our we or the children have to live in ac air conditioned rooms only and now they start assuming that to survive this air conditioning is a must i cannot live without it i cannot live without electricity i cannot live without ac i keep cannot live without uh, so many gadgets they are not able to imagine life without these facilities which may not be true so we have to really observe whether our education institutions are training our children for more and more intelligence in physical facilities or they are able to transform them they are able to draw their attention to right understanding right feeling if today in delhi and cr if some school is there where no air conditioned rooms are there parents should not get their children enrolled or this kind of problem has started yeah we uh, like uh, geeta ji uh, shared a few minutes back the majority of the focus means in everybody's life like once uh, we are having in a good job ensure a substantial amount of physical facility having own house own car then uh, means put effort for establishing our kids 
or children and then if they are settled life is a kind of thing is yes, uh, done and in that process i think uh, we have been running for quite long time even more than you know decades or i should say four or five decades and uh, where i feel like uh, we missed the relationship part with larger part whether it is more than my family more than my relative family or more than uh, in, uh, society whole existence and as a result now uh, many things this uh, environmental hazard or uh, you know uh, fighting for a small thing even uh, in the when in the daylight of street or like uh, putting others down all these like whatever we are uh, seeing in current society and uh, that's the root cause i feel like we are somewhere looking this part of the you know, right understanding toward the relationship and uh, the right objective in our life isn't it certainly we are yeah so we assume that the whole purpose of life is to earn more and more physical facility and if we have earned to a limit we feel that we are successful and then for the unhappiness and the problems in, we, in our life we always have grudges and complaints towards others and we keep on complaining but seldom are we able to see that it's going to my lack of competence my lack of right understanding that i am in problems if my children are not ready to stay with me and they are running after physical facilities and somewhere i have also gone wrong yeah nice bhaiya i don't think you had any question no bhaiya we just raising this point no 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 just a reflection ji bhai okay so now we are able to see that this transformation from this smaller domain of physical facility to the completeness of uh, consciousness that is human consciousness is the transformation that is desirable so i am living like a deluded self when i am only thinking in terms of physical facilities and i am a true self when i am able to place all the three with correct priority in my life so it is fulfilled by right understanding in the self right feeling in relationship and recognition of required physical facility and its fulfillment with the rest of nature so from this deluded self we have to move to the state of true self isn't it nice just try to make out now question my question is uh, for a physical facilities uh, prosperity we are saying it is more than required but the more than required world is very wide so can you throw some light for more than required yeah so the purpose has to be clear so for example let's say uh, one person is cooking food in the kitchen and there are four persons in the family now one has to decide how much to cook so if one assume that no one should be eating more than two chapatis so i should be only cooking eight chapatis then there will be some doubt if some person feels more hungry then what to do so we always prefer to cook somewhat more does it happen or not yes similarly when i have to arrange for facilities in the family so i arrange for somewhat more because the need may go up sometime so i do arrange for something more so this is one purpose that we it is something quantifiable and we cannot exactly quantify for example if somebody asks how many grains of rice will you eat <laughs> it is not possible to tell isn't it so we right. just take something and it varies from time to time day to day you know like mm. today when i walk short let's say 10000 steps in the morning so i feel hungrier more hungry so i would like to go for more food but if i am taking rest from the morning i'll take less food so this is something quantifiable and the quantity keeps on varying so this is one reason because of which we want to have something more and we can see we keep on doing this in our day to day life also while cooking in the kitchen while purchasing you know grains and vegetables from the market we go for somewhat more so that nobody goes without food if some food is kept and it is uh, not used for eating that is 
better but if somebody has to go without food it is certainly not desirable so this is one major reason second thing is that we may have some guest in the house sometime and we may have to you know and of course we want to we have to arrange food for the person if the food is just limited for the people who are living inside the house then it will not serve the purpose we are not able to uh, share with our guest and the number of guests could be one two or many that is also quite possible so it is also to share with the people in my relationship and with the rest of society third thing is to uh, make the physical facility available when the production is not possible so for example we grow grains in a year and you see that the harvest is not the same every year so we try to produce more than what is required if you look at the seasons in our country so you'll see that for two consecutive years the rainfall would be satisfactory it would be in uh, plenty and there will be some scanty rainfall in the third year so we try to produce more than what is required so that when the production is not possible then our production is not at that much then our needs are also fulfilled and there could be some natural calamities also like we had this pandemic there were many families which could not go to factory could not run their production system for one or two years together isn't it so during that occasions also we need to have something which can fulfill our need so this is the third thing and the fourth would be i want to contribute towards fulfillment of human goal towards the society so i want to work for right education sanskar right health and self regulation system in the society system for justice in the society so i need to contribute to the society also one part of my production has to go for the society also so for these four purposes we do require there could be some more also if we try to articulate but we do of course require more than what is required today at this moment if i if i be little more specific especially at a later age when we are not earning probably we may need to accumulate something for our yes, future sir. so and when uh, i am saying that there are times when we are not producing then we of course require on those occasions that could be because of old age that could be because of sick body you know that could be because of some disruption in the environment outside some pandemic some natural havoc something could be there physical okay. facility we say it is quantitative is there any guidelines uh, in terms of quantitative that how much we sh should accumulate not accumulation i'll say storing so we do store in the house we do store in our society we do store so we produce wheat like in this winter and now we have stored them in our store houses to rather okay rather than accumulation it is saving probably yeah so no accumulation at all i say when the purpose is right the purpose is nurturing the body protecting the body and right utilizing the body it is storage if not then it is accumulation okay thank you bhaiya so the purpose has to be clear okay understood okay, rajiv ji nice bhaiya uh bhaiya i was on uh, election duty uh, in uh, baramati so i couldn't attend the i'm very sorry i couldn't attend the three days day, uh, the uh, sessions but uh, in uh, uh, election duty i put this uh, again the um, uh, uh, so, uh, samasya vidha and samband pe uh, can i uh, talk in hindi bhaiya hello bhaiya if you want to share in hindi then you can share during the hindi session presently many okay. of us no, uh, now i want to share with him in, uh, in english uh, with you uh, so i talk um, the uh, the uh, election booth uh, uh, again uh, i had the one uh, session uh, around the 15 people was there uh, in uh, um, uh, that uh, uh, election uh, uh, polling center so um, i put these things and uh, uh, people are happy i just say that uh, which is the more important in your in our life 
that is nothing but the um, uh, 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 right understanding or relationship or again the um, uh, uh, um, that is a uh, um, uh, physical facilities so uh, people say, has says that uh, uh, we we need the right understanding uh, so that was our, uh, again the uh, uh, near about the one hour discussion with us. So uh, all these uh, people were, were there. They just says that we have to concentrate on the uh, our right understanding. This was the outcome of the our uh, just as a discussion. So that uh, that thing I want to share with you, Bhaiya. Nice, nice, Bhaiya. So you're utilizing time. In the polling huh. booth also you know, sharing right instant right thing. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Thank you, thank you, Bhaiya. So I, I daily discussion uh, in the daily uh, time. I, I was just putting this thing. Uh, I shared with you, but uh, today I want to again uh, share this thing <laughs> with you, Bhaiya. So, uh, uh, but uh, we need to talk uh, with the day-to-day's -day life uh, in the, uh, in front of the people. So I am doing it just as a small thing. Nice, yeah. nice, yeah. 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 Thank you, Bhaiya. Nice. So this is the complete expanse of human consciousness. When we say right understanding, it means understanding harmony at every level of our living, starting from individual to the entire existence. So I need to understand myself. I need to see that human being is coexistence of self and body. I need to understand relationship in the family. I need to understand my role in the society, the common human goal that we can have living in a society. I need to understand each and every entity in the nature, which are there in four orders. And then I also need to see how this whole nature is submerged in space. So when we say right understanding, it means understanding the complete reality. If I spare out anything, I'll have doubts, I'll have fears for that reality, and we, I'll not be able to coexist with that reality. So, right understanding in entirety. And then, when I go to live with right understanding, I'm able to see that I need to ensure justice in my every relationship. This is also an important takeaway from the exercise that we are doing that we are able to now see that I have to ensure justice in every relationship. In the eight day three UHV three FDP that we're having at SRM, uh, Didi who shared her reflection in the beginning uh, shared one thing that earlier when she used to give tea or snacks to her maid, she used to keep a separate plate and cup for her. And then she noted that why should I keep a separate uh, plate and cup for her? You know, she just like me. The other is similar to me. So why not use a similar utensil for her also? Now, we are able to see that I am related to the maid also. I have to ensure justice with the maid also. I have to ensure justice with the watchman also. I have to ensure justice with the people on the roadside also. Isn't it? If I am driving on the road, <clears throat> I have to ensure justice with all those who are driving alongside me. If I am standing in the queue for getting some ticket, then I have to ensure justice with these people also. So the sense of justice gets developed now. And, I, and that goes to the feeling of ensuring undivided society, my role in undivided society. So now as we develop right understanding, we are able to ensure justice in a relationship. And the whole world, we are able to see as a family, that this whole world is a family. It's not that I will exploit the rest of the world and accumulate in my family. I will torture the rest of the world to nurture my family. It's not the case. Many people are doing like that. You know, we can see so many examples. People are exploiting the rest of the world to nurture their family. But now that the sense of justice gets developed, we are able to ensure justice in every relationship. This becomes a kind of commitment within. You cannot just ignore injustice if it is coming from your side you, know, you become very particular you become very observant of it let's see i did not behave the right way with this person i differentiated 
on the basis of either body or physical facility or some uh, some kind of conditioning so we become very observant so we are able to participate in undivided society and we are also able to see that when i'm going to arrange for physical facilities for the body is it fulfilling the human goal is it conducive to a harmonious society when i'm exchanging physical facility am i trying to exploit the other when i'm producing food am i exploiting the rest of nature whether i'm storing or i'm accumulating whether i'm consuming or i'm indulging so every time you look at this and then while working for family order you are able to see your role in the world family order and that also becomes your responsibility that also becomes your vision that i have to work for universal human order so this is the entirety this is the expanse of human consciousness isn't it so reflect upon this there is a lot to reflect here now what we are going to discuss further would be an elaboration of this also so we have to see whether we are able to ensure mutual happiness in our relationships and whether we are able to ensure justice in every relationship whether we are having an orderly life we are participating in the larger order every time now whatever i do is a participation but is it in terms of order or disorder is something to be observed isn't it the colony that i am living in are my habits and practices making the colony disordered or more orderly the village where i am living you know by my conduct is the village becoming more orderly or uh, less orderly this is something that i have to observe every time so try to contemplate on this this completeness of uh, human consciousness the expanse of human consciousness think over it so there is a lot to contemplate here so what we'll do we'll keep the discussion up to here today and then we'll discuss further tomorrow